What's up, you friends and family of YouTube? It's Pastor Bob. So I picked up the Seiko uh, Quartz uh, SQ. It's uh, a little bit older. It's kind of scratched up a little bit. Seeing better days. But I was looking at the number on the back. And I mean, it's still got a sticker on it. See that? So I was checking out that number. And I was like, there's something different about this watch. And it's all original. Everything checks out. I looked at the inside. So it's a real Japanese quartz. Really, you know, I mean, it just needs cleaned up. It needs uh, polished up. Back to the way it was. But uh, otherwise, it shouldn't take me all too long to fix it up. That dial, though, is... It's, these are unique dials, okay? So these are crystal dials. And the uniqueness of the dial on some of these Seikos was... Let me show you. You see how it says Seiko Quartz, and then it has the SQ on it? Well, I don't know if I can get the right angle. But on the right angle, if I show you, embedded inside of that crystal, okay, on the right angle, you will see the same thing. You will see SQ and Seiko embedded in that crystal. And in this crystal... It's on the face, but it's also in the crystal. Pretty unique. So I'm going to try to clean her up a little bit and give her a little tune-up and see how good she comes out. But I wanted to show you what it looked like before I embrace this because she is this scratchy, scratchy. So, yeah, i tell you what. This is a nice looking watch. Gentleman's watch. And, you know, it's older. It's probably from the 70s, 80s. Keeping time well, though. That's the thing about quartz watches, you know. They keep time pretty good. Um, the best ones, I think, would be... Uh, uh, Grand Seikos. Grand Seikos have a specific type of uh, combination uh, of mechanical quartz. It's kind of hard to explain. One day I'll get into it because uh, it would take me quite a while to try to explain it um, the way that it was explained to me. But your quartz will always be uh, more accurate than your mechanical watches. Your mechanical watches, unless they're really, really, really high end, which are going to cost you, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars to be the, as accurate as they need to be, in the reserve to be the way they need to be, you know, because there's a reserve time. Uh, with a with a battery operated watch, you know, a quartz watch, it's much different. Um, you know, it goes so many years. And then you just change your battery and go. Uh, with an automatic watch or a wind-up watch, which they call uh, mechanical watches, you know, they you got to maintain them some every so often, you know, take them apart, clean them, re-oil, uh, re-oil them, re-oil the gems on the inside and make sure that, you know, the balance wheel is good and... Uh, that the sp uh, hairspring on it is working properly. You know, there's a lot of little things that you gotta gotta look after. You know, the strength of your spring. You know, um, how well everything's meshing as far as the gears are concerned. So keep keeping time uh, accurately. Well, I will say there's a lot more that goes into a mechanical watch. There's a lot more. Uh, hands-on than a quartz watch, but that's not always the case. But one thing I do know, Seiko makes some great quartz watches. 
So, anyways, I just wanted to show you this, and uh, hopefully here in the next couple of days, I'll do another video and show you what it came out looking like. Okay, guys, take care. Have a good weekend. Pastor Bob, I'm out of here. See ya.